what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Lala Anthony. Lala, after separating from her husband, NBA star Camelo Anthony, seemed to be somewhat open to reconciliation during an interview on the Wendy Williams show. Now, what I liked about the interview was that she didn't really give any details for the nosy people, and she didn't take the opportunity to bash her husband, especially given that huge platform like the Wendy Williams show where people feed off of negativity and other people's misery. Lala said, I would absolutely never say a bad thing about my husband. That's my son's father, and he's an amazing dad. I know a number of women who would have went in on him. They wouldn't have been able to do that. Now, all of this is happening, so say, because of infidelity. I don't know what the truth is. Not my place to even speculate. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I admire her respect for the father of her child. I admire that. I admire her loyalty to family. She could have easily been vindictive and shown a lot of bitterness, especially on a platform like the Wendy Williams show where the audience feeds off of negativity and they get high on other people's pain. So for her to carry herself the way that she's done, not just on the Wendy Williams show, but I've seen her in some other uh, interviews and uh, she's handling herself pretty well. Now, is that to say that she's not making them suffer a little bit on purpose? I think she's taking care of herself, making sure that she stays busy and she's doing these interviews and a little bit, you know, she's working out, making sure she's straight, eating healthy, letting them know, hey, look, look you, you, you better... You better Pay attention, homie, you know? I think that's cool. Some people are saying she need to leave him. He cheated. Leave him. Divorce him. People are very, very quick to scream, leave him, leave her, divorce, when it's not them. When it's them, man, they figure out every trick in the book to try to stay together. They got every type of reason in the world to try to stay together. But when it's somebody else, first thing they yell out, leave them, divorce them. Oh, I'd never stand for that. I'd never. Come on, man. They saying she's gonna go back home to him because of the money. She's gonna be with him for the money. Let me tell you something. Lala got plenty of money. And she's on a hit television series that ain't going nowhere soon. It would not be canceled anytime soon. She has notoriety. She can easily do a reality show, if nothing else, like that, on top of what she got going on. She has Camelo's son. Camelo is worth a lot of money. So... She's going to be taken care of no matter what. And also consider this. Women marry men who they can live with. Men marry women who they can't live without. That's why in most cases, not most cases, but in many cases, men lose their mind when they break up with their woman and they want to kill them because they can't live without her. Or they want to kill themselves. A woman can move on quicker. She can just end up with another guy because she's looking for a guy that she can live with, <laughs> not necessarily a guy that she can live without. So Lala is going to be all right no matter what. She's going to be all right. These people that say, leave him. He don't deserve you. Leave him. 
Ah, she's making all women look bad. She's telling her son that it's all right for a man to cheat on his wife and bring disrespect to the family. Well, that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it would be to say that she's teaching her son that when somebody you love make a mistake, the first response shouldn't be to abandon them. That's another way to look at it. People are so quick to tell other people to break up. Personally, if it's not a situation where there's danger involved, I always encourage people to try to work it out. If it's not danger involved, now, if there's disrespect involved, I mean constant disrespect, then that's a different type of thing. And for what he's being accused of, that's, that's a pretty big one. That's really a cardinal sin in relationships. But if they can get through it, if they can deal with it, and they're the principles in this story, why can't we? I'm rooting for them. Some people are not rooting for them because they want Lala. Some other people want Carmelo. They don't think that Lala deserves Carmelo. They don't think Carmelo deserves Lala. And then some people... They're just misery. They're just miserable. So misery loves company. So they just don't want to see nothing work out. They don't want to see nobody's relationship work out. So I would be, I would be very, very cautious when it comes to just listening to the chatter in the background when people are trying to tell somebody to walk out on a relationship. If she like it, I love it. People have to do what makes them sleep good at night. Got to do what makes you sleep good at night. I'm sending Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony strength and love. Man, I hope y'all make it. I hope y'all figure it out. And if you're going through a situation like they're going through or you've been through a situation like they're going through, I wish you the same. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.